Hi everybody. So welcome to another video on MIPS code and machine code translation. So in this video, I'm gonna use several examples to to convert machine codes into MIPS instructions. So what we what I would be doing is to use the same examples from the last two videos. So in the last two videos, we convert um, MIPS to machine code. So now we use the same result from the machine code and then convert those machine code back to MIPS and then we compare the result, right? From, so we, we have a compar comparison. Okay, so let's take a look at the first example. Okay, so I'm gonna randomly pick those machine codes so that um, we are not gonna follow the same order as like our format, I format and J format because I think it's important to be able to uh, tell what format um, it is from the machine code itself. So let's use an example. Okay. So let's use this one. Okay. So don't look back too far. Don't look back to the to the previous videos. Okay. All right. So or don't look back to your code. Oops. Let's use black. All right. So I have this machine code. Okay, so this is the machine code in hexadecimal. Um, and of course, when a computer stores a machine code, it's not in hexadecimal, definitely, right? But it's, again, it's for us human to be easily tell the numbers because when we have too many zeros and ones, we would tend to miss a bit or, or have an extra bit. So that's why usually when we write machine code, we usually write in hexadecimal. Okay, so now what is the next step? To just translate that into MIPS. Okay, now, right? So we make it into binary first. All right, so just one by one, one digit is equivalent to how many bits of binary? Four. So let's start with the three. So I have zero, zero, one, one, four, zero, one, zero, zero, A, one, zero, one, zero. Two zero zero one zero, and then I have two zeros, and then one is this four is okay. So you can see that each individual hexadecimal digit has four bits. So now, since I have eight of them, so I will have 32 bits. So this is your machine code, and what's next? What operation is it? Okay, so we don't know. So first of all, the next one is to ask yourself is what format? Okay, what format it is? Okay, so how do we answer that? So from what part of the machine code it tells us what format it is? Yes, the up code, right? So let me highlight this Correspond, corresponding to up code. So where is the up code? Okay, at the beginning okay, of the left, leftmost significant, significant bits, right? And how many bits? How many bits are in the up code? Six, good. So I'll highlight six. So this is my up code, right? All right, so up code is what? So up code equals to zero zero one one zero one, which is what is that? Thirteen, right? Which is D. Okay. So what format it is? If you look at the MIP sheet, it tells you that this is I format. So if it is I format, how do we break up the machine code? So, so I'll have up code, and then how many fields? Four fields, right? So I have up code, and then I have RS, how many bits? Five, so remember, up code six bits, RS five bits, 
and then I have RT five bits, and then I have the immediate sixteen bits, right? Okay, so now from here we list out all the information. So I have opcode already, and opcode equals to thirteen or D. What does that correspond to? Okay, so if you look at the MIPS code again, I mean the MIPS reference sheets, so I'm not going to refer to it anymore. So for your exam, make sure that you print it out because you are not allowed to use your screen to display any information because um, of the lockdown browser. So I would suggest you to have your MIPS sheets printed somewhere, or if you have a phone, you can use your phone, that's fine. But I would suggest you to have a separate access to your MIP sheets, all right? Because it's not going to be part of your exam. I, I won't be able to provide you a screen with your MIP sheet, so be careful, okay? So you make sure you, you print it out physically if you want, okay? So I think that's the best because you are going to use the same MIP sheet for the future exams anyway, okay? So for this one, uh, opcode is I format, and when opcode is D is or I, right? Okay. So next is RS. RS is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, which is 5, which is register 5, which is, look at the MIP sheets again, A1. RT equals to 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, which is 2. It means that you have register two, which is B0. And what about the immediate? Immediate is, even though it's only 16 bits, but most of the most significant bits are zeros, right? So I have zero, zero, zero. Okay, I'm not gonna write too many zeros. So I have one, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, so which is, do the math, right? This is zero, I mean, this is one, two, four, eight, sixteen. So you have 20. This is immediate. So now put them together. Okay, so you have the operation or I. So now which one is the destination? Remember, I have destination, source, and the constant, right? So constant is easy. And let me start using the line I use dot 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 so that it's easier to see. Okay, so what is the first operand? So the first operand is the target destination, right? So target, which is our T. So now we have B0 and then A0. That's your answer. Okay, so make sure that your answer, I think in your exam, I will ask you to write your answer in register name, not register number. Okay, so make sure you convert that into register name. Okay. All right, so this is the first example. Let's do one more. Let's do this one. Example one, I have zero, one, zero, four, eight, zero, two, zero. Okay, so this one, okay, what is the first step? Just, you can guess the opcode, but it's not as obvious, right? So the best way is to write that into binary. Okay. So if you want, actually, when you watch your video, watch this video, you can pause the video and then try it out the solution yourself. And then once you have your answer, and then resume your video and see whether you get the right steps as well as um, the right answer. Okay. So let's convert that into binary. Zero, zero, zero. 
zero 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 one zero 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 so a lot of times when i'm not in the lecture and you're not actually in the classroom sometimes i make mistake and nobody tells me right so and that's that's why i kind of miss the lecture i hope you guys miss the lecture too all right so where am i four right so zero one zero zero and one zero 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 one zero 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 okay so let's double check zero one zero four eight zero two zero so many zero right okay so what is the opcode because the first thing to do is to find the opcode right opcode equals zero what does it tell you When opcode is zero, automatic R format, right? And then what about the operation? The operation will be in the function code. But that's okay. We can find out the function code later. Okay, so what we want, the first step is to find out what format. Because only when we know the format, then we can break up the binary code into the correct number of fields, right? So for our format, how many fields are there? How many partitions are there? Six, right? Six, five, 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 six, right? So I have six, five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, and then six. Okay, so you have RS, RT, RD, shift, amount, and then function code. Right, so you can see that it's very consistent again, right? So the first three fields are the same between um, between the between I format and R format. The difference is that you break up the immediate from the I format into three fields for the R format. Okay, so now let's continue. Let's do RS. Rs is zero one zero zero zero, which is sixteen. So you have register oops sixteen, which is what F zero right. So again, be familiar with the MIP sheet so that you don't have to go back to the MIP sheets that often. Okay, next Rt is zero zero one zero zero which is four, you have register four, which is, what is that? A zero, right? And RD, the destination, you have one zero zero. Oh, did I do something wrong? I think I did something wrong. This is not 16. See, that's the problem with doing it by myself, right? Maybe you should come to our house, to my house to watch me do it. Okay, so this should be eight and register eight. Register eight is T zero actually, right? And I have this one, which is 16. And you have register 16. This is register 16 and you have a zero. Let me put zero back here because this is not a subscript. All right. All right, so now we have RD. Now, how about shift amount? Shift amount is zero, right? Because this, which means that this is not going to be a shift function, right? Operation uh, function code. This tells you what operation we are in. What is that? 32, right? If you look at the MIP sheet, 32 means. Is right if you want, just break it up, break it up. So you don't actually need to translate your function code into base 10 because in MIP sheets they are all in hexadecimal, so it doesn't make sense to convert your function code into base 10. Okay, so from here you see that this is F. Okay, now write down your instruction. Okay, what do we have? We have the 
operation and then what is the target or what is the destination destination is rd right so you have s0 first operand rs so be careful rs is always the first operand okay. and then rt will be the second one that you have the answer sounds good all right now let's take a look at another one Let me go to the print preview to make sure that everything is in one page. Good. So, yeah, I should be able to fill in one more. Okay. So, let's do another example. Um, let's choose a. One one zero 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 three. So actually, by looking at the instruction, you can tell that this is not going to be an R format. Why? R format opcode is what? Zero, right? And how many bits are in opcode? Six bits. So which means that if the first four bits is not even zero, then it's not going to be R format, right? Okay, so again, binary. I will have zero 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 one two is zero zero one zero one is zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 so be careful of the number of zeros you have in the hexadecimal okay one one two three four five six seven eight good all right so again in order to find out the format I need to find another op code, right? And we know that this is not going to be our format. So op code is 0001 zero, 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 right? So which is 4. If you look at the MIP sheets, this is I format. And the operation is DEQ. So if, since this is I format, I'm going to break it into four fields, right? I have the RD, I mean RS, RT, immediate. So I have opcode, RS, RT, immediate. So that's good. All right. Next is to find out all these fields. RS is the first operand. Zero, 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 which is. 16. Yes. I have register 16, which is S0 again. Right. And then RT is 10001. So just one more of one more than 16, right? Because the last one was 10000. So I have 17. I have register 17, which is S1. So it's just incrementing the register name. Okay, what about the immediate? Zero, 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 all the way. Oops, you stuck that part. Zero, zero, one, one. That's very easily convert that into three. So that's all you have, right? And again, this is branch instruction. The three means that you're going to have three line after next line, right? Remember? So, but we don't really need to worry about that because we're just converting that into MIPS. So let's do the MIPS instruction. We have BEQ, RS, And then RT and then three. So that will be your answer. Okay. 
I don't expect you to actually draw out because technically you can do this. Okay, technically you can have one. This is the next line, right? So this is next line, and then three lines afterwards. So one, two, three. So this is your label. But since you're gonna do the exam at TED courses, and it doesn't, um, it's not that easy for you to to actually illustrate the answer. So that's why just keep your answer with the number three. That's fine. Okay. So that's what the machine code is anyway, right? It doesn't need to know the structure of your instruction anymore. Okay. So this is your answer. Let's see. Ah, extra. So let me draw it small. Okay, so less is more. Like next line. It's one, two, three. And this is my label. So this is the next, this is the example for I format again. Okay, good. All right, so now let's use another example. This is a little bit different from the last two videos because I kind of changed it to make it sound, looks, I mean, so that it makes sense. All right. <coughs> so what format is this? How many say R format? How many say I format? How many say J format? How many say no format? So is it R format? Well, is zero, right? Is that our format? No, we don't know yet because this one only contains four bits. We need to find out whether this has needing zero, right? So let's break it down. Zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one. So you can see that this is not gonna be our format. Three, zero, zero. Four. D, what is D? D is one, one, zero, one, right? This is D is 13. Oops, what is that? Um, we have one, two, three, four, two, right? Two, one, zero. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what format is this? It's two, right? Up code is two. J format, which is jump. Okay, so I think I changed that to jump. So in the previous video, when we convert from MIPS to zeros and ones, we used JEL, right? And the opcode was three. So here I use opcode as two. And I think I also um, changed kind of the address too. So now assume, so because this is J, I have to let you know what address okay, it is. Okay, so this is at address because again, when you combine to reconstruct the label, the address, you, you need to know the current address. Okay, so we'll talk, talk more about that. So the address is A00. One, two, four, eight, four. Okay, so this is the address of this instruction. All right, so sounds good because an instruction is stored in the memory, which means that there is an address for that instruction. Okay, or we call that PC, right? Okay, so now let's break it down. Since this is a J format, only two fields, right? You have your opcode and your label or the address that you 
on the jumping. Okay, so <clears throat> now let's con construct your label address. Oh, we call the target address. Okay, so what do we have? I have zero one, zero 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 one, one zero one zero, zero 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 zero, zero one zero zero, and then one one zero one. So that's good. So this is the 26 bits that we have. It's the same thing. Okay. But how many bits are in an address? 32, right? So how do we make 32 out of these 26 bits? Uh, we need to add extra six bits, right? So how do we do that? We will always add two zero here because it's word alignment. So that's why the last two zeros can be removed when we encode a MIPS code into 001, right? What about the first four bits? What are they? Okay, so we add two zeros at the back. We add four more bits in the front, right? So how do we know which four bits to go into here? That has something to do with your address. So we always use the first four bits of this address. So now, <clears throat> since PC equals to A0012484, so let's write it down. 1010, Okay, so this is the address, right? And you always bring the first four bits to here. So that's how we reconstruct the label address or the target address. Okay, so the last two bits, zeros. The first four bits, always the first four bits of your original address of the instruction. So in that sense, actually, you don't really need to convert the whole address into zeros and ones because all you need to do is just grab the first digit of the hexadecimal, which is the A, right? But I just try to illustrate the relationship for you. So this will be your complete address. So now the complete address will be 1010, 01. So I try to keep the original grouping first so that later on I'll do the regroup again. Doing the regrouping, it can be confusing. Okay, so that's why I keep the original 26 in this way. All right. So that later on I will do the regrouping late at the last step. Otherwise, sometimes when you try to rewrite the zeros and ones and then regroup at the same time, you may miss out a bit on a two. Then you mess up your answer, right? Okay, so now regroup one, two, three, four. One two three 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 four. And your answer will be A four six eight one three four eight. So this is your target address, right? So now your answer will be will be J. So remember, we are doing J, okay, a J format instruction. So don't be carried out by the whole process of finding the address, okay? So finding the address is not the final answer, okay? J what the address, right? So I have A. So if you want, I will probably put in zero X. So I have A, four, six, eight, one, three, four, eight. <coughs> okay, so this will be your final answer. Okay, so 
So again, usually you say J label, right? But since again, uh, we don't know where the label is so unless you say label equals to this, but um, in your exam, again, I will try to make the exam questions format clear so that you know what format to enter. Because sometimes the question, the exam problems are auto graded. So it depends on, for example, this one, right? You have only a unique answer. There's no other way to, to answer this. So, so probably this type of questions will be auto graded. So, so make sure that you type in the, the answer in the correct way so that you get the right answer. Otherwise, if you miss that, miss, miss that out, then you get it wrong. So just be careful, read the question carefully, right? Okay, so this is J format. Now let's use one more last example. Okay. So I want to illustrate some I format with, well, I kind of show you the, tell you the answer already. Okay, so let's do an I format. Okay, so this is not J, of course, right? And this is not R format anymore. Okay, so this is an I format. How can we tell? Let's convert to binary. So again, make sure that you can convert from hexadecimal to binary fast. So over the weekend, just again, practice, practice, practice. Two, one, two, eight. F is all one. P is 13. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Always double check. Okay. If your step is wrong, the first step is wrong, the rest will be wrong. So make sure that you do the binary very carefully, okay? And practice, 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 because your exam is time. Okay? So you have only limited time to work on your exam. So make sure that you really practice um, the conversion. All right, so as I mentioned, this is an I format, so you have Zero zero one zero zero zero, and this is eight, right? So it's I format, and the operation is if you look at the machine code is F I. Okay, the machine code, the lip sheet. All right. So since this is I format, let's break it up to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have LS, LT, we need it. Okay. So LS will be zero one zero zero one zero, which is a minute. Let's see. <coughs> so I have a sixteen. No, wait, am I right? One, two, three, four, four, five, six. This is right. So I have nine. That makes more sense. Okay. Which is register nine, which is T1. Okay, so again, look at the lip sheet. Our T will be zero, one, zero, 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 which is eight, which is register eight, which is T0. And then the immediate will be tricky because it's all leading one, right? So when an integer is leading one, what does that mean? It's not a number. Well, it's a negative, right? Okay, so what does that mean? I need to find out negative of what so that I can do the translation, right? So how do I find out it's negative of what? So we flip. Okay, so again, if you want to find the value of the opposite sign, you flip, right? So that's what you need. Okay. So again, everything is in two's complements, right? So I have zero, 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 one, one. So you have 
negative three, okay? Because this is three, right? And you, since you do the flip in that one, you're talking about the opposite sign of it, okay? So you're negative three. So now write out your instruction. I have add i. And now which one is rs, which one is rt? This destination is rt, right? So I have t0, t1, and then negative three. That's your answer. Okay, so in this example, in this video, basically I cover pretty much all you need to know to do the translation. Okay, and this will be in your first exam next week, okay, on the 22nd. So in your first exam, pretty much I will just ask you questions about this kind of conversions. And then I will leave the conversion between C and MIPS in the next exam. Sounds good? So I will have a lot of questions, problems for you to solve, okay? And I can come up with tons of them, so. All right, so if you have any questions, come to my office hour. And actually, I'm gonna use my Monday's office hour okay, to go over the practice, practice midterm. Okay, so make sure you're joining if you uh, want to listen uh, to see how I solve those problems. So basically, it's just the same as this one. Okay, so, yeah, so try it over the weekend. And again, practice, 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 and you'll be fine. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.